with me in the studio is Elsie Godwin herself to shed more light on this whole conspiracy theory. Good morning, Elsie. Good morning. Let's start. Are you for 5G or against 5G? Of course I am for 5G. Did okay. you see the frequencies is going to work out? Like, it is amazingly fast. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I definitely need that in my life. All right. So, apart from, I know, of course, you did a good research and some depth of work, which you cannot, you know, uh, all of them explain in this report. What are the different things that you found out? What are, you know, the new things that you didn't know that you found out in this? Okay. So, I found out that there's actually a similarity between 5G and 4G. Right. So, so um, 5G can be um, divided into two, into two based on the frequency level, and that's a mid-band and a low-band. Right. So for the low-band, it's almost the same thing as 4G. It is when you now get to the mid-band that you experience the... the um, the fastness and mm -hmm. the capacity it has. So do we need 5G? Yes. To break it down for the layman, because I had to do this report based on the number of contents that people sent to me. So you have people around you who know that, oh, you work in the media, both traditional and digital. Mm -hmm. So every content gets thrown at you, right? Mm -hmm. And I saw a lot of voice notes, um, um, videos, saying different things, connecting COVID-19 to 5G. And I felt like it's important mm -hmm. to try to educate people for them to understand that there is no way you can connect these two together and um, so like I said to break it down mm -hmm. if for example you want to download a movie because most people download some movie right and sometimes I see people struggling with their internet for right. 30 minutes it's one hour and just for, you know but on 5g you can download that same thing in less than five minutes Interesting. so that is the amazing thing that would come with 5g and we hope that it gets to Africa mm -hmm. but right now of course it's available in some cities and of course widely in China mm -hmm. you know so yeah that, that's basically all it. right I mean I like the way you have put it there that's analogy makes people understand uh, that yes this is where we are headed and in your report you made mention that we are a fast you know it's a fast Space paced world, world mm -hmm. where we are. So are you implying that, well, this is the future and maybe, just maybe, that's where we are headed? Yes, it is. Because um, we produce content every day. And when you talk of Internet of Things and getting back to social media and how we interact with each other, mm -hmm. every day new information is being put out there. We need larger capacity. We need to be able to be faster. If we keep putting these information and content out there without expanding, it just means that we are going to be stagnant. Mm -hmm. And it to get to a point where this digital uh, and internet of things that we love and we are enjoying now will have to crash. So we need to give kudos to these engineers that are constantly innovating um, this um, technology we enjoy now to make sure it is able to um, take the whole capacity that it's supposed to do. So mm. yeah, 5G is important because you are not going to stop producing content. Right. I am not going to stop producing content. Mm -hmm. And content has gone even beyond the media houses. A regular person is pushing out content every day online just by putting a tweet out there mm -hmm. on Facebook. We have to be able to process these things. Mm -hmm. And it is highly important that we can do that without spending the whole day just to... Imagine you have spent the whole day to open Facebook. Right. You would not be on Facebook mm -hmm. anymore. So mm -hmm. yes, this is important. So we are evolving as yeah, much as it yes. is evolving. Okay, let's Let's talk about the content you receive. Um, you know, you mentioned that people were sending voice notes, were sending you know, forwarded messages, all kinds of everything. On the tone that, does this suggest there's some kind of fears already in the public because of 5G coming into Nigeria and all that? Did you see that? Yeah, the fear is what is feeding this conspiracy theory. And the annoying part for me is that people are not researching because you don't even need to, you know, when you talk of research, there, there we have the surface research and then you have to go in deep depth. where you, you don't just Google and wait for the first page. You have to go to the second, third and make sure you get everything. But on this... And of course involve experts You know, like but you on did. this issue you don't need to go past the first page of Google to see everything you need to see. Just Google it and everything is there. There are so many videos explaining the pros and cons of um, 5G because we cannot take away the fact that there could be effect like mm -hmm. um, one of the, um, the person we spoke to uh, mentioned even our going out and coming in has got effect we just know, need to know how to um, manage it and mm -hmm. be able to make sure we don't harm ourselves right so 
if you can sit down to research that, then you won't feed yourself with so many things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things some people have come out to say is that um, they don't know the level of megahertz that um, this 5G is working on, but just a quick search will give you everything you need mm -hmm. for you to understand. So I think people are scared. Of course, when you have a, a virus like Corona uh, virus to out there killing with. people, the fear is already there and it's mm -hmm. easy to feed on any little thing um, to now create a mm -hmm. mountain out of something that is supposed to be very small. So mm -hmm. that fear is there. But I mean, you saw the ridiculous one of trying to um, link it to Antichrist. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, how did we get here? But conspiracy theories has always been there. And that it's, brings me yeah. to my next question, which is, uh, we've also seen, you know, some heavyweight celebrities who are pushing the same conspiracy theory about 5G and um, coronavirus. We've also seen religious leaders. You know, so how, how do we come to a point where we are able to look deeply and see the things that matters mm -hmm. and not trying to excuse all of this, but to be able to know that uh, I can't be you know, dissuaded by a or B person, because of who you are, we have a right to actually go in depth and find out the truth for ourselves. How do we get to that point? Mm. So as much as we have freedom of information, we also have a right to information. So you have to use your right and your freedom at the same time, not using the freedom and forgetting your right to information. Mm -hmm. So you need to research, like I've said. You cannot say this person said or this person is feeding me with this information and just run along with it and start spreading it. Mm -hmm. You have to critically analyze whatever it is you're being fed, especially now, because we are scared, yes. Of course, we want to be alive and we don't want the virus to get us. But ha giving into your fear would also put you in a situation whereby you fall into something that would even be more harmful to you mm -hmm. than the coronavirus that we're trying to mm -hmm. fight. So I would advise anyone listening and watching to make sure that they research for themselves and find out what 5G is really about mm -hmm. and what it's supposed to do for us as a people. Mm -hmm. So so that nobody dies of fear yeah. and not even a not coronavirus. Virus or, or, or 5G. Thank you very much, Elsie Godwin, Thank for bringing for that clari this clarity and helping us understand the importance and what is going on in the world of Internet of Things. Thank you, Amanda.